Question 2a, explain why force is a vector quantity. In your answer, you should use appropriate technical terms spelled correctly. Now, this is a statement which you'll see in some questions in every exam paper. What that means is that it will be expecting you to spell a certain keyword or keywords correctly in order to get uh, the full marks. In this case, there's only one mark available. Uh, the answer here, explain why force is a vector quantity, is because force has both direction and magnitude. According to the mark scheme, it's the word direction that they're actually looking for to be spelled correctly here. This is a very typical exam question. Here we have uh, an object, in this case a water drop, sitting on a slope. Often this might be a car uh, or some other vehicle travelling up a slope or an object resting on a slope. This is a water drop on a windscreen. The water drop has a weight acting downwards of 8 times 10 to the minus 5 newtons vertically downwards. It's being held in place on the screen by a frictional force acting up the screen. There's also a contact force, R, perpendicular to the screen. So the question asks us to determine the component of the weight of the water drop acting perpendicular to the screen. So any force can be divided into perpendicular components. In this case, the components will be perpendicular to the slope and down the slope. Parallel to the slope. We need to be very careful with our angles here. This angle here is 30 degrees, which means that this angle here will be 60 degrees. Because this is a right angle triangle. And my, my rule of thumb for this is, if the force is touching the angle, as this force is here, then it will be equal to the weight, 8 times 10 to the minus 5 multiplied by the cosine of the angle, cosine 60. So therefore the component acting perpendicular to the windscreen, which is the one we're interested in here, will be 8 times 10 to the minus 5 times the sine of 60 degrees. So our perpendicular component is 8 times 10 to the minus 5 times sine 60, which is 6.93 times 10 to the minus 5 newtons. Part 2 of this question asks us for the component parallel to the windscreen, where well, we've already said that is uh, 8 times 10 to the minus 5 multiplied by the cosine of 60, which will give us 4.0 times 10 to the minus 5 newtons. Part II asks us to determine the magnitude of F and to explain our answer. Well, the raindrop is in equilibrium, which means it's not moving. The water drop is stationary, it tells us in the question. So therefore, forces up the slope must be equal to forces down the slope, in which case F, which is our force up the slope, is equal to our force down the slope, which we previously calculated to be 4 times 10 to the minus 5 newtons.